Thank you very much. Uh, this was set up quite a long time ago, and while this is a very interesting day we have going, uh, this was very important to Sylvester Stallone, my friend for a long time, Sly, and the whole group. Uh, we have uh, incredible people here. We have the current heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. He's 40-0, this gentleman right here. He's 40-0 with 39 knockouts. And we have Lennox Lewis, who, as you know, is one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time. Unbelievable heart and, in all fairness, unbelievable talent. <laughs> he was a talented, uh, talented fighter, a great, talented fighter. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. And Deontay, thank you. Yes, sir. So, thank you. Lennox, if I really went and started working out, could I take Deontay in a fight? <laughs> this is 40-0, 39 knockouts. Could I take him in a fight if I really went to work? You have to get past those long arms. I get it. They're yeah. long arms. They're right? long arms. And we also have uh, Linda Bell Haywood, the maternal great-great niece of Jack Johnson. Now, we all sort of have heard of Jack Johnson. Had a very tough life and an interesting life. One of the greatest fighters, Lennox was just telling me, one of the greatest fighters ever. Uh, the early 1900s. Today, uh, as president, I've issued an executive grant of clemency, a full pardon, posthumously, to John Arthur Jack Johnson. He was known as Jack Johnson, the first African-American heavyweight champion of the world, a truly great fighter, had a tough life. They say he violated the Mann Act, and he had a conviction that occurred during a period of tremendous racial tension in the United States more than a century ago. Johnson served 10 months in federal prison for what many view as a racially motivated injustice. He was treated very rough, very tough. Born in 1878 in Galveston, Texas, to former slaves, Johnson overcame difficult circumstances to reach the heights of boxing, one of the greatest that ever lived. And uh, both Deontay and Lennox were telling me uh, they studied those tapes. I don't know. I think you would have been OK. I don't know. I think Lennox would have been OK, too. But truly one of the greatest that ever lived. And he overcame these difficult circumstances to reach the heights of boxing and the boxing world and inspired generations with his tenacity and a very independent spirit. Congress has supported numerous resolutions calling for Johnson's pardon. Went through Congress numerous times. No president ever signed it, surprisingly. They thought it was going to be signed in the last administration, and that didn't happen. So that was very disappointing for a lot of people. These resolutions enjoyed widespread bipartisan <coughs> support, including from the Congressional Black Caucus. The Black Caucus supported it very, very powerfully, very strongly, but they couldn't get the president to sign it. One of these resolutions